<clears throat> hey everyone, I'm Sarah C. with Full Circle Healing. Thank you for joining me today, January 7th, 2020. Um, every day I'm going to be reading an entry, a daily entry, out of The Real Witch's Year by Kate West. Okay, it's a great little book of spells, rituals, meditations for every day of the year. So today we're talking about the obsidian. Obsidian is a great stone that people use in meditation, grounding, um, spell work, you use it against uh, protection against uh, negativity, and if you feel, you know, you're under attack or you, harm's coming your way, keep the stone with you. Um, as one of very many witchy stones, obsidian is both centering and protective. It is a volcanic stone and also a form of naturally occurring glass. Obsidian is often used in grounding or when you have trouble getting your physical self into order. As with all stones and crystals, it is better to have one or two small offcuts than a piece which has been blasted out of the earth for commercial reasons. Obsidian can be carried in a pouch or used in ritual. If you feel unconnected with the real world, sit on the earth and place a tiny piece of obsidian under each foot. Like so. Also plant your hands on the soil. Close your eyes and visualize the energy of the earth flowing through your hands and exiting via your feet. While also visualizing obsidian absorbing any excess non-physical energies. Uh, when you feel purified, take the obsidian stones, wrap them in a dark cloth and bury them in the place where you sat. Uh, that will leave all that negativity and crap right there where, where you left it, okay? Instead of bringing it with you. Um, you should feel, should you feel threatened in any way, carry the cleanse, a cleanse stone um, in a pouch close to your waist. It will deflect and absorb any negative energy which may come your way. Obsidian also has many uses in scrying. An obsidian egg or sphere is a far easier scrying tool to use than one of crystal as it is easier to let go of your conscious mind in the depths of a black stone which is really cool. Um, I love scrying. I've been doing that for a number of years. I got a friend that does scry readings. Um, I have to tell her, hey, try, try an obsidian stone to use instead. Um, I've used a number of different crystals. Um, I've bought them, I've had them handmade for me. They're great. But I suggest I've carried stones in my bra for years or in my pockets. Um, anytime I felt somebody needed a stone, I'd feel their energy and they'd be like, you know, kind of down and out and I'd here, you need this more than I do. You know, whether it was a rose quartz or obsidian or tiger's eye or amethyst or whatever it might be. Um, citron, <laughs> everybody needs some good luck and abundance, right? So that's what I have to share with you today. Um, go to your local metaphysical store and pick a stone that cries out to you. Read them all. Put your hand over them. See if you feel any warmth or any tingling in your hand. That's the stone for you, okay? Blessed be everybody. Have a great Tuesday and we'll see you tomorrow.